Okay, now we're going to start uh, compiling um, a little bit uh, a list of content. Um, you're going to need content if you're going to rank because bottom line, no matter what you do, uh, it's going to have to have some form of content or another. Um, so what I usually do, I open up a notepad. Um, I will go to the keywords that I compiled, copy, paste, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write title. And then I just start making a list of different titles that I can use, whether it's for articles, whether it's for directory submissions, whether it's for Web 2.0 properties. I'm, I'm making a list of titles that are relevant. And basically the formula that you want to always use for your content, for your writers, whether you write the content yourself um, or you outsource it, which I'm going to give you a lot of uh, good resources um, on how to use you know articles effectively and everything like that. Um, but basically you want to get content um, that you know the the basically the keyword always needs to be in the title so here we go uh you know the keyword phrase in this one was uh where the one that we're going after was poker tables for sale and then this basically says use poker tables for sale so I would actually cut out the for sale and maybe because we're looking for buyers. We're looking for people that are interested. Um, so this is how you get a, a, a wide variety of different titles to use because if you're going out there, what, what happens a lot of time um, is if, if you go out there, if you're using the exact same t uh, tags or keywords um, for all of your, your bookmarking sites with the exact same description, with the exact same title, then the search engines are actually going to filter it out because they're going to see, uh, you know, uh, you know the, it, it's not about duplicate content and let me just kind of clarify duplicate content um, duplicate content um, a lot of people are afraid about it but what it what it really says about duplicate content if you read um, the statues uh, under the Google webmaster is uh, it's only penalized if you're putting the same exact content on the same exact site just for the sake of saying hey this site you know is all about this one keyword phrase um, it's all about uh, you know appearing naturally within the search engine so they don't care if you have the same article at you know 3,000 different article uh, hubs so you don't have to worry about that um, or uh, you know across all your web 2.0 networks you know that's fine um, but one thing I would suggest doing is you can use the same content um, but switch out the tags and switch out the title because you, you can uh, maintain a lot more uh, rankings you know so instead of just having you know poker tables for sell dot net in the rankings then you can also have it look Looks like you know. Hey, poker tables for sale. Uh, you, then we can use you know buy use poker tables. Uh, you know, but this might be a squid do lens, or, or you know, then we can have cheap poker tables for sale or cheap poker table reviews. Uh, you know, or you know poker table top. So we're using a variety of different titles, so it appears um, that it's it's a different result um, because even though you might be able to rank across you know multiple you know having a squid do having your side having your hub pages up or your e-sign articles up on the same page uh, think about it in the mind of the consumer if they go and if they see you know five to six or seven of the exact same content on the first uh, page um, you know chances are you know yeah you could you're going to be getting a lot more traffic but I know if, if I looked at that I'm going to be like hey this is all the same thing so I automatically discredit it all but imagine if you had different titles or different descriptions even if it's the same content um, then it you have a chance of getting that repeat click you know and then studies show that if you want somebody to buy from your site you have to get them to come back to your site about seven times and the best way to do that is to randomize your uh, your title tags and it's also just you know it's just a good practice overall but uh, basically we're trying to get people to buy um, poker table so the title really needs to convey that um, that way we get not only just traffic and rankings but we're getting targeted traffic of people who actually want to buy so right here uh, poker tables for sale uh, then we're going to add you know buy used poker tables we're adding the word buy because somebody looking at that if they click on it they automatically know uh, whether it's subconsciously or not that hey this site's going to be selling poker tables so they're only going to be clicking on it if they're looking to, to sell or looking to buy poker tables. So this other one would be, you know, I I would use for an article or bookmarking or anything else, poker tables for sale. And then, you know, cheap poker table reviews. 
or something like that. So you see what you're doing is you're not going out there spamming the search engines just with your primary keyword phrase, which is poker tables for sale. This, this title um, automatically has more weight. It automatically um, – it, it, it gives you not only the main keyword but relevant keywords that Google says it's that that it's relevant. So it, it's giving you multiple. Uh, it's kind of giving you a a, a power uh, pack duo in a way, uh, for lack of a better terms. Um, because now you know the search engine is going to look at that and says, hey, you know this is not only poker tables for sale, but it's by used poker tables, which is we already recognize as relevant. So then chances are you're going to have uh, better rankings than just using. Uh, you know, the single poker tables for sale. So what I like to do is always use my primary keyword phrase first and then, uh, you know, use a secondary related keyword second. Um, and then that way I'm just kind of getting the most out of the titles. Um, and then what you're going to do then is whenever you're structuring your content, um, what I do is like in Notepad, I'll do title, then I'll just put, uh, you know, tags, and I'm, I'm just going to go through a quick example. I'm not going to go through the whole process of generating content um, right now just for the sake of time. But the tags is definitely going to be your primary one first. Poker table was for sale. Then what are some of the variations that we can put in there <clears throat> that Google itself says is relevant? Um, so it would be poker tables for sale, uh, cheap poker tables. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's going to be uh, used poker tables reviews. What else can we do? Poker table tops, poker sets, poker table buyers guide, which believe it or not, is a, is a pretty good keyword term. So I'm just going to basically create a list of tags. And how many tags do you want to use? Uh, what I say is whenever you're coming up from tags, and tags is going to be used with your bookmark, and I'm going to explain that later. Um, but I always say write out six to eight different tags. You're not going to use all of those on all of your uh, uh, content sites. Um, basically, you're only going to use anywhere between three to four tags. But what's going to happen is, is let's say right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So what I would do is maybe like on one of the bookmarking sites, I would use this title, but then I might only use these three tags. And then on the next bookmarking site, I might have this title, but then I might use these tags instead. So it's it's appearing to be natural and relevant, and and it has a uh, it doesn't leave a footprint, which we're going to go into a little bit later. So this is basically how you want to start setting up your structure of your content. Is you know create your title, create your tag. As soon as you get your titles and tags, then you're going to want your content. So on your content, uh, what are some things that you're going to be looking for? You're going to be looking for uh, or uh, the, some of the things that you're going to be looking to get done for you or to do, I should say, um, is you're going to want about 500 words uh, in your article. And the reason for that is because that has a lot of content, a lot of weight, a lot of the direct or, or the article submission sites won't take it unless it's at least 500 words. So if you do 500 words, that has a lot of value in and of itself. Um, so 500 words would be um, about the size of the article or more that you want to shoot for. Another thing that you're going to want uh, to do is have a keyword den density of about 2%. And what that means is whenever you're writing your content, um, your keyword phrase, uh, which is could be either your main, your primary, like poker tables for sale, or your secondary list that you compiled from using the Wonder Wheel and the Google-related search, um, but you're going to want those in there about two times for every 100 words. So you basically, out of a 500-word article, you're going to have about 10 keywords in there, and it's not just repetitively using your primary keyword. If you use your primary 
primary keyword over and over and over again, then it's automatically make the value uh, of your backlinking or your content go down because Google is going to pick that up and some of these other search engines are going to pick that up and say, hey, this doesn't really make sense. Um, they're obviously trying to keyword stuff and it's actually going to make your keyword, uh, you know, go or, or your rankings go down. Um, so basically, if you want to sustain your rankings, uh, structure your content like this about a 2% uh, density rate. And the last thing you're going to want to do um, is, is, is have an anchor text link to close out your article. And this could be as a form of a, a author resource or bio or a call to action. And I'm going to get a little bit more into the do's and don'ts of anchor text in a little bit. But what we're doing here, I'm just kind of giving you overall uh, foundation, overall uh, knowledge of basically how you need to start setting up and and properly uh, properly do your backlink campaigns. We haven't got into the generating the backlinks yet, but I'm just showing you this is exactly how I start my backlink campaigns. Um, so basically, you know, go out there, uh, cr start creating your titles with your primary, your secondary keywords. Get a list of between six to eight or six to eight tags. Um, get a content either written or write it yourself about 500 words with the keyword density at two um, I should say a maximum of three percent anything over three percent then uh, you know you, you you actually do more harm than good um, so don't try to go in there and, and, and stuff the keywords the keywords seem to flow naturally uh, because you know the the search engines are smart the algorithms they got are smart um, and then basically now we're going to go on to the do's and don'ts of the anchor text um, and then basically you know a lot of the common mistakes a lot of people do with the anchor or text. Um, so that's the, it for this video. Go out and, and, and start generating your content. And as soon as you're ready, um, go on to the next video.